Welcome to my gallery studio. I'm Donna Chelomanchek, and I have brought a lot of landscapes and doodles and uh, some pictures of downtown Fargo. Uh, just general kinds of uh, landscapes that just turned me on when I saw them and I decided I would love to paint those and some of them are just abstractly done so uh, they don't represent any place but they represent a mood and um, some of them are just pure put water on the paper and put paint on the paper and then just let it go and stop it when it when you think you've got the kind of colors and the shapes that you like and step back and look at it and say hmm I think that's done a college graduate in art which I am not I'm a self-taught artist well I kind of like the Fargo Alley um, that's made with wax uh, it's a you put wax on so that the paint doesn't go there and when you're all done you you take the wax off and you have white places or you have different kinds of places. So that's a kind of a special piece to me. Just iron it. Just put some paper towels over it and then, and then iron it. And then the, and the paper towels soak up the wax. For instance, whatever is white on there originally had a piece of wax on it. And you'd have a wax pot and you'd paint it on there. And then I added the blue, so then I would wax that so I wouldn't get any other color on it. Mm -hmm. Then when you're all done you crumple it all up and you dunk it in ink or paint of some sort and then you unwrinkle it and all the wax cracks and that's where the where the the batik look comes from. Sure. But you know I like color as you can tell there's there's all kinds of color. I like I like the rocky road one. Um, uh, when I was growing up I had a girlfriend that stayed with me that uh, lived out at on a farm and so she lived with me during the week and that's a picture of her farm during the winter. Uh, the one next to it is, is another one I, I love doing because it has such texture to it and, um, and the colors are restful and it's a whole restful piece. Uh, the next one over there is a, a street scene from Fort Collins, Colorado and it's, uh, we loved going there. The, uh, Next one is uh, an Arizona ghost town. And then of course the Red River Watercolor Society used to have uh, art shows down at the Shotwell Greenhouse and so that top one is a picture of that. Well, the Broadway one, um, I decided I was, everybody was painting Broadway, but they were painting the Fargo Theater. They didn't paint downtown. And so I decided I would go up on the top of the, of the bank building where the peregrines roost and went home and drew it with pen and, and then did pen and ink and then watercolor over the top of it. But it turned out that the Fargo uh, Theater is on there, but it's where it should be, <laughs> down the street. <laughs> but if you really care about a piece the original is just so different than a print. It just, in my, in my mind it is, I don't, emotionally it is. Uh, and I suppose you've got a magnifying glass out. You know, you can always take something over to Walmart and have them put it on a canvas. <clears throat> but it, it, they don't have the same texture or the same sheen or the same uh, softness or the same patina. The first thing to do is just draw. Just get a sketchbook and draw. Draw your feet, draw the kettle, draw the books, draw the trees, draw whatever. And eventually, and, and so that you know how to draw. It, they don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be, uh, represent anything. They just have to be practice your drawing. And then go to a lot of art shows. There's kind of a saying, it's the miles on your brush or the miles on your pen that make the artist. <laughs> 